Sula here from MistyHilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. This is a continuation of the 3x4 accordion album that I have been working on. And um, there is a first part that um, shows how I put together uh, the first part of this album. And then there is a tutorial part where I'm just putting the base of this album together without embellishing actually. And so this will be the last part where I finish up embellishing um, the book and putting it together and finishing also the cover and the outside. So um, here I am um, working on the second part of these uh, these little pages. They're only three by four in size and it's an album that I'm making for my dad um, showing what I appreciate about him. And so here it's, an, it's a, it's a masculine, masculine album and so I am adding lots of masculine um, pieces, um, mostly stamps and some other embellishments like um, brads. This one actually will have a brad with um, a picture on it, but sometimes I use brads that look like screws and all that. So um, again, here I'm adding, I usually have a, a little sentiment that tells what I appreciate um, about my dad on each page. And then here I uh, and then, yeah, some pieces of embellishment. So here, again, there's some razors and stuff, so for shaving. Um, again, here, there, you just saw a glimpse of the, um, of the back side or front, whichever way. You can go both ways with this album. You can pull it apart completely, like I am doing, or just treat it like a book and just go page by page. That's the um, advantage of working with a... Uh, an accordion fold type album because you can pull it apart or you can um, just um, open it up like you would a book and um, that also uh, because you can pull it apart completely it also and I'm when I'm saying pulling apart it's just um, unfolding it completely um, then obviously um, papers will be next to each other that would otherwise in a book form not be next to each other because they're on the next page or something so um, this is something that I had to consider as I was putting this album together that I made sure that all the papers there were there was enough um, just variation in the papers that I used so here is one of the pages that I'm actually including a flower with um, there's a small gusset. This is why I, cre I designed um, the album myself. I um, based it off an album that I saw from, or that I actually have from Laurie Whitlock. But her gussets are bigger and I wanted my book to be more compact. I felt when the gussets, gussets are too wide, then the book just gets too loose. And I wanted to avoid that. And so I just completely redesigned the entire um, album. Um, with a much smaller gusset that gives me just enough room to add some small bulky embellishments but make it um, so that you can still work um, that um, it's not just too loose at the end and I am adding a few flowers I try to keep them um, looking masculine and what I love about them is that again for the center of the flower I used brads that look like screws so my dad is all into repairing he's like he could he could build a house if you wanted to and so he can um, fix up a lot of things and he can do a lot of things and so um, I love that I have I got these um, these little brads that look like screws they are just perfect for a um, for a masculine type um, uh, layout, but I would also will I will love them using on any kind of page. I'm sure I have a whole bunch of them now so um, Here I had these cute little Polaroid kind of frames And so I made sure that I printed a couple of photos um, that had uh, that matched the size of these frames um, There is a video that shows how I do print my photos and it works pretty well. I'm just using a normal um, uh, word processing software but because you can you can in, uh, input the size of the photo that you want and um, it makes it very easy for me to just adjust a f um, photo sizes and so I get and it prints it pretty accurately as far as the size is concerned and so I'm happy um, that I can now add um, photo sizes that are not my common uh, two by threes or something like that but these small um, photos that will really work perfectly with these tiny little 
um, frames and they're so small that you are um, you can put them on a 3x4 page which is a small page really but um, you can still arrange something very neatly there on these um, little pages um, I made sure that I used mo uh, photos um, that had to do with my dad um, there are other photos that go in on these tags that will be placed in the pockets um, and those I kept a little large, larger for two by threes that actually showed show my dad or but these were just um, my mom loves to take um, just beautiful photos and so these are just um, photos uh, to go as a mo just a motif of some sort and so it's it's about my dad so these photos are not just randomly added um, when he was taking a break. Uh, from his work uh, as the photo will show that will um, actually be placed on the tag there. that's the one um, so one of them shows him at work um, pulling apart and then one of the photos actually shows him sitting and enjoying a little break time with some coffee my mom arranged it where he would get some dessert and coffee um, it's right outside their house, so that works. But here he is de um, he is working with wood and um, they have some trees that needed to be cut down in their garden and so um, that's what he's doing right there. And again, he is very much a self-made man who can do pretty much anything and likes to do these. So here I have this book plate that I want to add to this page, but then again, it's just, it's all about the yard work and while my mother runs the gardening part my dad runs all the hard work in the garden all the big stuff and so um and that's what this page is supposed to say and i think even that um the stamp that i used uh, um, is from a um kelly what's P kelly perky or something um stamp set so again here i'm using these cute l little brads that look like they come from a workshop and so um, I had this um, I think it's a Kelly Perky um, all, all about house house stuff um, stamp set so it says yard work on there which is perfect for this as my dad is working in the backyard and um, here I am now ready I have used um, these brads to um, um, to fasten the book plate and um, later I can add the sentiment there and now I'm ready to um, glue down the paper onto the page there and this one will have a pocket again that's what the tag is for the tag will go into the pocket and here I'm just making sure that everything is glued on and then um, I can add the inside of the book plate right there which is what says yard work so I'm not sure if you can actually see it. Yes, you should be able to see it, that it has these um, cute screws as the, center, uh, as, as the fasteners. So it looks like the, the book plate is screwed on um, to the page, basically. So here is, uh, this is a Stampin' Up! stamp set uh, with some um, tools, gardening tools. And um, this, not the, the wheelbarrow actually, this comes from a different um, die cut set. I watercolored everything and made sure I, the watercolor, the colors that I used matched the colors of uh, the paper. So there was that kind of teal, not teal, but whatever greenish color there that runs with this little book. And so here comes the sentiment now. And I already uh, embellished the tag. So all I need to do is, um, well, um, I guess there's these gloves. My dad always works with these uh, work gloves. He has so many of them, I'm sure. So this goes right into that pocket. Now I can fold it over, and so that's the nice thing. I don't have to spread out the entire book there, but I can work on um, smaller sections there. And so I'm getting to the end of the, the this little uh, mini album. So here, he like he does a whole a lot of random things. He's also good with pho photography and uh, videography. My dad is just an, a jack of all trades. It seems like he can do a whole lot of different things. So this is one of my favorite, favorite um, papers. 
from this um, paper pad. It's uh, it has man cave in there and then just strict bro code strictly in code uh, uh, enforced. I thought that was funny, but it again it works for a masculine. It works for a masculine page, even though you could also use it for a feminine page um, because it does have some pretty things there as well on this the same kind of paper. So it's a very neutral paper pack. It's called Time Flies, and I, I haven't seen who it is from. Um, it just has the title Time Flies, and it was locally available, and I'm very glad I got this paper pack. And here I have the, the screwdriver I just um, traced in the silhouette, then cut it out, and then watercolored it again with matching colors, uh, col colors that match the paper pad. And now I can add that to uh, to the page there so it's um, just um, showing about how how uh, varied in his talents uh, my dad is and he can do so many different things so that's what this page commemorates basically and here I can fold um, apart the a couple of pages there and then just pull it apart a little bit so that um, I can finish the last two pages I think of this side of the album and that would then um, finish the inside. I still have to do the cover. So again, here this one again has a pocket. So I'm trying now. Uh, I'm trying to give enough variation so there's not a pocket on every page. I didn't want to have too many pockets in this, but a couple of pockets. I just love using tags. I, I'm a lover of tags. And so again, I can start by by actually gluing down the pocket, and then I will I can add the paper on top and the paper that goes basically inside but I'm, I'm saving myself some of the paper so that it only goes partially into the pocket it doesn't cover the entire back um, back side back uh, ground of the page because I don't need that but here I'm also decide trying to decide there are um, there was the lower part of the paper that I really wanted to have um, rather than just cutting it off from the top um, or uh, at the I guess at the bottom here I'm actually cutting things off from the top so I am taking measure there so that um, I can cut this part off to see um, and so it will only go slightly beyond the pocket um, I don't I don't need to use paper behind pockets that won't open there is no flap there so um, I saved myself some paper and then my dad loves trains he grew up near near a train station so as a kid he always um, loved watching trains and then kind of developed this passion for like model trains so he has little model trains and um, so this page um, is giving him a node to that even though I think the sentiment has a different something there but um, I have this um, little train that's from a Christmas stamp set but I thought I had it already traced um, for my silhouette. I, I, I scanned it and traced it for my silhouette so my silhouette can, can just cut it out and so I have been using this um, uh, quite a number of times already my Christmas projects but it was perfect for this page here as well and so here this is where um, this is the picture that I was talking about uh, where my mom organized a little picnic for my dad while he is working and so this goes again these are two by three photos that will go in the tag on the tags there and just to make this album a little more interactive here i'm adding again one of my screws uh screw brads to the last flower there are not every page has gussets um, most pages have gussets in between but somewhere it's immediately um where i think where there's a glue flap those parts because i think it's three equal pieces of um scored um papers that i created that that then can be fold back and forth to cre create the accordion uh, but wherever that the glue flaps are attaching the three parts that's where there won't be a gusset um, i guess i could design it that way that uh, to include the gusset i think that's something that i might actually in hindsight if I want to ever do this again will can add but um, in this case it didn't and not every page has bulky stuff so it didn't matter and I paid attention to it obviously that where there was um, no gusset that I wouldn't include any other bulky um, stuff 
So this is the last one, the last picture. Um, and I filled it into that pocket as well. And now I am ready to just um, do the um, cover. And this is the front and I have this super cute little embellishment piece that just says it's a metal piece quite heavy says machine works and i thought that would at first i had wanted to put it on the outside of the album but then i decided to put it on top of the accordion fold it's because it naturally just presses down the pages and makes this book more compact and so rather than putting it on the outside where it was going to be full already because of the um, title that I was going to give the book and there's just there's not much space that you can do on a little three by four um, page size so there's not much you can add to a page without overfilling it and so I ended up just not um, not putting it on the outside and basically not really embellishing much on the outside at all but I also like it because that way you can easily put it away in a bookshelf but you can also spread it out and it can be seen either way and so here I have this little magnet in hindsight it didn't really it's not really um, doing all that good of a job of closing I think there's the two paper layers in between really weaken that magnet but I don't like to use bigger magnets but um, at first it wasn't closing at all but then I had it just um, sitting um, with something on top of it just be so that it would would um, close well no I think I used a clip to close it and then afterward I realized it was um, uh, it was then working with a magnet after it, it had gotten used to its shape I guess is what I'm saying so here I'm adding um, the title what I what I appreciate about you and I just stamped it and then um, cut it out and so um, because there is the flap on the other side so there really doesn't need to be much more that needs to be on the outside and again here I'm, I'm realizing the magnet isn't really closing but later it will so anyways here are the last bits of um, some close-ups I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day thanks for watching bye